this is what you're looking for. Some kind of confirmation that, you know, the market is ready to hook and go. I've been, uh, you know, kind of watching this diamond price pattern in the Dow. So you can see like we're right at this upside of this diamond. And, you know, this is kind of the inflection point, you know, does it just ignore it? And it's very possible we keep going or is, you know, is that it? And I think if this is it, then this should be it. So I just kept selling into here and I, I could lose money and uh, what have you, but if it stops here, um, I bought these October 21st put options. Still may not be further out enough, but I figure it would give me a little bit of room to uh, see how these things work out. So, I mean, we're literally right there. This is the S&P, and I always thought 4,200 to 4,300 was going to be it. We hit 4,380 last week, and uh, I don't know, man. Uh if I'm wrong, this goes to 4,800. If I'm right, I think, you know, this is it. You know, this is how much room, you know, I think we got left, you know, maybe another millimeter. But uh, I don't know if you want to, you know, be, be looking for this, you know, in, in an offset for that. So, but again, you know, if we flirt with this and don't go down, this could be that. So uh, this is what we call an inflection point. It could do one thing or another, and we're close to, some kind of resolution of one thing or another. So I just think we're at the top end of a big bad channel. And uh, I think we start rolling over in the next couple of weeks. But uh, that's just my buy. But then, you know, again, you know, I kind of have a certain set of expectations, you know, where I, I visualize this. But if it starts doing that, uh, I'm certainly not going to, uh, you know, argue with that. The market is always right. And optimally, you always want to look for, you know, some kind of, you know, indication that you're on the right track. And so, you know, if you have to rate, wait the rest of the week, what have you, but, you know, this is what you're looking for. Some kind of confirmation that, you know, the market is ready to hook and go. And so, uh, you know, I'm, you know, getting a little ahead of things, you know, I sold into the rally, you know, in, when you're buying puts, you kind of want to get that strength. You don't want to just, you know, because if you start buying into weakness and then it rallies, you lose so much. So, but, you know, we'll see what happens. I gave myself some time and I, I still think that this is, we're, I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I think this is it. It's a very scary feeling, but, you know, we're at this moment of truth where uh, these are the resistance levels right here. And I think it's just maybe a millimeter above where we are now. And the cues are here and all of these things. And the Dow is, you know, at this inflection point. So let's see what happens. We're coming off this morning and uh, I, uh, I think it's over. And uh, these Chinese numbers, I think, uh, are a harbinger of things to come. Now, I think we also have some retail numbers this week. I think Target or Walgreens, I forgot who's coming out this week. Those should be very interesting to get an insight because it's always the consumer. It's going to be profits. It's going to be profit margins. It's going to be how close do these companies' earnings reports come out to the uh, forecasts. If they start coming in under the, the forecasts, I think that's going to you know be the, the next trigger. So we're just, you know, in this quiet period, you know, last two weeks of August, I'm always reticent to reach to, you know, it's just trading conditions are, you know, you got low liquidity and markets could be pushed around anywhere. So uh, is this like this every August? Yeah. You know, it's summer. So, you know, Europe, especially for FX, you know, uh, people are on vacation. So you get lower liquidity. When there's lower liquidity, you, the bid ask spreads widen, the markets can push get pushed around. But to me, you know, uh, markets should go where they're originally pointing. I'm, you know, always looking for risk and reward. Uh, I'm heavily short this stupid little obscure stock uh, called uh, QDEL. It closed at multi-year lows last week. 
I kept shorting all the way uh, down here. I started start shorting at 99, 95, 94. I think I gave them some, you know, last week, you know, I don't know, around 90 and we're now at 84. So, uh, and we're at all time new low levels here. So this is like one of the most beautiful charts is like, there's nothing, there's nothing in the way to stop this thing from uh, just a free fall now. So uh, where she goes, nobody knows, but it looks like it's going to go lower. Here's Airbnb. And, uh, you know, the question is, is this just a bear trap that's been sprung and we're going to go a lot higher now where you kind of spring this thing and now we go back up here. But I think, again, there is this dude right here that's standing in the way right here. You know, also the way these markets have, have gone up, to me, this also signifies a short covering rally. The way it goes up where it just never lets you out. I mean, if you kind of chase this low, uh, you haven't been able to breathe. It's been every week closing on the high. And that to me just tells me that, uh, you know, it's a stranglehold, it's a short covering rally. Uh, the stock market looks like this. It's just straight up. You know, if it's a good market, you want to see it kind of do, you know, a gradual thing. This has just been straight up. There hasn't been a downtick. And uh, if you're trapped in one of these, it is it is the worst thing on the planet to be trapped in a uh, short covering rally. It is. It's just, I, I've been there. I hate, you know, you just hate life. They just, you know, you just pray for that downtick and it never comes. And then you get out and then it's like that. So this is what you know, Alibaba looked like, you know, and this is where, you know, it's, it, it throws me too. Uh, you know, it's, it's, is, is this real or is this the deal? And, you know, my philosophy is if a market's topped, it just doesn't go down and bottom. You know, this is a big top that then, you know, should take a while to, you know, take, you know, to, 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 to go lower. So this is, this is a bottom, this is an inverted head and shoulders, you know, but I see this guy right there, you know, and he's standing over these prices and I just suspect that that's it. So, yeah, I mean, it's taken me decades to kind of figure this out and you never feel like you figured it out because this is, this is a real look. You have beautiful, you know, key reversals here. You have everything, you know, if I didn't see any, you know, if I didn't see anything to the left here and I just saw this, I'm going, whoa, this is just go to the bank trade. But this is why, you know, I like to, when I see something, I like to get all the information, not jump to conclusions. You know, maybe there are some events over the weekend that, you know, would comport to that too. So, uh, you know, I see this double top head and shoulders, and that's a real pattern, too. And uh, this is what Alibaba looked like, where it had this thing, then it went down, and then we had some bottoming patterns way down here. And you wonder, well, you know, has that pattern done its work? So I just have a visceral feel, man. I just want to stay away from being long. And I might miss a lot. But, uh, you know, you're just kind of re- so there's a guy right there. Uh, I, uh, you know, I just, I just feel like this is a trap. And then you just look again, this is just, has been just straight up, straight up without a break. So even if this is going up, uh, I want to see some kind of consolidation for a while before, you know, I, I get long again. So I would take a breath. So you can see, yeah, 45, it's 1.3 million. 1.3 million dollars short. So pop out a profit for 118,000 there. So you can see how this is going crazy now. You can see how the market just going nuts. I bet like a, a million six on this position. I'm showing right now $23,000 gain.